Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Today, unfortunately, uh, for my mood, uh, I will have to talk about that individual who really um, creates so much disgust and uh, for me whenever I hear him or see him. And uh, I'm talking about, uh, I have to say it, Prime Minister of Canada, uh, Justin Trudeau. I've been watching this uh, individual. Uh, I watched, <laughs> he's the son of uh, Mr. Trudeau, so that's no coincidence why he's where he's at, and that tells a lot. Mr. Uh, drama uh, teacher uh, became prime minister <clears throat> on his father's credentials, unfortunately, and he, uh, I think he um, just, uh, stumped on or whatever uh, destroyed the family's um, credentials um, but I'm pretty sure there are a lot of Canadians who disagree with what I said but uh, since we still are allowed to uh, express our uh, views opinions and thoughts and assessments I just did um, I watched Mr. Trudeau in uh, how he dealt uh, with the truckers protest in Ottawa and uh, that was uh, disgraceful for a country uh, that calls itself free and I'm sorry for the Canadians I have relatives and friends in Canada I used to uh, go to Canada at least five six seven times a year and enjoy my time with uh, those people over there and I liked Canada and I still do unfortunately due to uh, mandates and constraints i am not allowed to travel so here i am but that's not about me is about uh, another weasel from um, trudeau's govern government who was hurt her hurt because uh, a canadian expressed his views on what he really thinks about her uh, and that is a um, Deputy Prime Minister Freeland. She was abused in Alberta. So this article comes from Reuters. And uh, this article is from August 28, 2022. And it is titled Canada Deputy Prime Minister Freeland abused in Alberta. Trudeau calls it part of a trend. Created by whom? Created by your dictatorial trends through your statements and your actions. I can't forget or forgive your, your, your act against the protest, peaceful protesters that you call them a fringed minority with unacceptable views, those truckers. Anyway, you're a weasel. I, I, I can't stand the, that individual. The, his has communist trends, dictatorial trends, tyrannical trends, and he's a tool of the globalist elites. 100%. Now, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Sunday condemned an abusive verbal attack on his deputy Are you going to make it illegal now to talk? You already, I know you can't say certain things in Canada, like in Germany and many other countries, but we live in a free world, my yes. An abusive verbal attack on his deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister. Christia Freeland, which he described, he described as an extremely disturbing harassment that was not an isolated incident and is not. People will speak their minds based on what you do and if you suck, they will tell you you suck and that's a verbal abuse because when the term fits the behavior and the act, you can call it however. A rape is a rape. How are you going to call it? Uh, Non-consensual uh, sexual uh, in, uh, interaction? Intercourse? Is that how you're going to call it? Or are you going to call it a rape? Oh my God! No, the perpetrator, the, the, the rapist will say, Oh my God, don't use that. It's so abusing. Abusive. Really? But that's what you did. How do you want me to call you? You're a rapist. The same here. This is the result of you and your actions. Let's see. And uh, he says this, Justin. We are seeing increasingly people in public 
public life and people in position of responsibility, particularly women, rationalized rationalized Canadians, people of minority or different community groups being targeted almost because of the incre increasing strength of your voices, Trudeau said in an address on Sunday. Shut up. We are seeing a backlash. We have to ask ourselves what kind of country we are. No, 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 no. The country we are, you don't belong in that country. The values that Canada had, you are part of the one who stump on that. You. And besides, we're not all on this. We don't have all the same views, all the same values, all the same beliefs. No. We have a majority of them, but you impose new ones, and some people don't like those. The country, and the same, the country we are. You're talking? Oh my God, what kind of country we want to be? Not the one that you take us in the direction of. In the video of the incident shared on Twitter, late on Friday, Freeland was approaching the elevator of a city hall building in Grande Prairie, Alberta, when one man shouted at her, one man, that's a trend, one man. What the are you doing in Alberta? The man said at Freeland, walked towards and into the elevator. He also called her a traitor and a female dog, okay? The video had hundreds of thousands of views. Now that guy expressed his dissatisfaction with her probably political um, uh, record and abilities. And he was not the most uh, articulated like pr former President Obama. He was very articulated, but he didn't say anything. No substance, but very articulated. This, guy's, this guy had a lot of substance, but not articulation. So what are you going to take? Uh, you know, uh, preferably would be both. But if I were to take an articulate person not saying anything and a guy who really said something, but it's... I take the second guy. And this guy, this guy. Freeland was born in Alberta and was on a tour of the province to meet with officials, business and workers. She acknowledged the incident in a tweet on Saturday. What happened yesterday was wrong. Nobody anywhere should have to put up with threats and intimidation. Freeland was no threat. He asked you, what the are you doing here? No threat. You female dog. What? Where's the threat? Oh, you don't, didn't like it? Change your behavior because that's a, a, a guy who votes. And he was dissatisfied with you. And he said it in a direct so you direct way, so you don't uh, miss anything. You know, you don't get lost in details. Straight to the point. They, they, they try to put you in a defensive and to feel guilty for telling them that they suck at their job. This is what they try. And they call you, you're not a Canadian if you are uh, telling us that I suck. But you do. What am I mean to say? Hey, mister, you're not the most perfect person here. You are almost perfect. Is that how you want me to talk? Because you say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm there with Jesus Christ, right there. No, you suck. How about that? Oh my God, that's not the Canadian way. Really? Really? What did you do with those guys in Ottawa? Credit cards, bank accounts, prison, jail, bail denied. I know those things. The incident was the latest among us. I'm not going to read this thing. A group of reporters, doesn't matter. I said what I had to say about these guys and I'm sorry for you Canadians. I'm sorry for me too here in the United States of America. Don't get me wrong. We're not. We're a little bit better. A little bit better than those guys over there. And besides, I have uh, this... Um, I have a very good cousin over there who keeps me updated with the weasel-like behavior of these guys trying to shame each and every person who disagrees with them, with their policies or their actions. If you don't agree with them, you must be one that fringe minority with unacceptable views. And then you have those that mass media in Canada. It's awful. It's awful. That's it's, it's like a, like in a communist Romania. Everything's great for Trudeau. And if it's not great for Trudeau, you're not allowed to speak and ask questions. And he's not going to answer your questions. Did you see those videos? I watched them. I can't remember uh, the, the media outlet that asked him a question and said, 
I'm not going to ask you a question. I'm not going to ask you a question because you are a, I don't know, extremist or something. And uh, next question. You are an elected official. Answer that question. You're not a king here. You are elected. You are responsible to answer each and every question coming from any citizen. But look where he is, the elites. I'm not going to answer your question. You? You are a public servant. Tie my shoes. God damn it. There you have it, the new leaders of Canada. But that's very un-Canadian to ask questions that are a little bit uh, hurting me, my feelings. But you heard the whole country. Man, I hope that guy, and it's not that guy, it's the whole system. He's just, uh, he's just the face of a system. That's why it is. He's, if he's not the one, it's going to be another one. And then you think about, oh, they're going to be the conservatives. Really? The conservatives are probably going to be the, probably the same. Why? Because as over there and here, the same sponsors are behind the two and three or four parties over there. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. Bah. Trudeau. Jesus.